Hello everyone, welcome back. And I'm here to be talking about the Has Been Hotel, the pilot episode. Now, if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't really know what this was until a few days ago because a friend recommended this to me on PlayStation and I was like, what the? So I decided to give it a watch and was honestly debating on if I should talk about it or review it because I, I do have a lot I wanted to say about it, but usually, you know, for like shows, because I hear that this is gonna you know, this is planning to be like a full season, like a show. But for like, I heard the creators, they took like a good few years just to make this one episode. So I was tempted to probably just wait until the whole thing come out. But uh, we don't really know where it's going to go and w whether it's going to be on like a network eventually or not. Because it's blowing up. Like it almost hit 10 million views. And it's on Vinzy's Pop. I think I pronounced that right. Her channel. Um, just... Here you go. Just like go check it out and stuff, like because wow, what what great content that she posts and stuff. And this is probably the best thing that I've seen when I, you know, gave her channel a look over to see what kind of stuff and all is on there. But yeah, so I decide this is a rare exception because usually when I review shows, I do the full season, and I don't like doing episode by episode because I find that to be like there isn't really that much to really talk about in an episode unless it's like an hour long or something like if it's a good 30 minutes it's pretty difficult to really stretch out a review length in it because without getting into spoilers you just want to stay the basics and then move on here on the other hand we all know when the next one's coming out i think they posted an update video where they said they they're happy with the fan reception and how popular it's getting and stuff and we'll see where it goes in the coming months when I heard months, I'm like, okay, I should probably talk about the episode because who knows when this next one's coming out because they worked on this one forever. But yeah, basically, with all that exposition stuff out of the way, Has Been Hotel is like this animated like series that was created on the YouTube channel, which is what floors me is because when watching it, it's so well animated and so well done. Like the voice acting's excellent, all that stuff that I'm just shocked that this wasn't like, a Netflix original or something like with a like did the budget looks fan I mean there there wasn't really that big of a budget per se I mean there's there's no way unless they've had it funded for so many years on the patreon or something but this is this it just floored me because I was really impressed I thought the animation was spectacular and okay I'm starting to pray to a bit before I get into it so basically it takes place in hell <laughs> that's why I wore the Halloween shirt and it was released pretty much on Halloween like the week of Halloween but I didn't know about it until a few days ago. So I thought, I'll still get it out. Like people are still finding it. Like I found it a few weeks after it premiered. So, and it's basically about the princess of hell, like the daughter of the main guy down there <laughs> and Charlie and her friend, Vaggie. And they're trying to like open this hotel because they see murder and like death and everything, how awful it is down there. And it's like her and their people. So they want to, make a hotel where um sinners and like demons and all could try to redeem themselves and go to heaven or something like that like to find a better way to leave instead of just getting like people killing each other and stuff and let's just say they they recruit this other guy who let's just say has an adult profession i'm not gonna get into <laughs> that but yeah they go on the talk show to try to spread it and of course everyone makes fun of them and laughs at them and some shenanigans happen but basically they run into what's called the radio demon who's like one of the biggest baddest demons down there and he wants to invest into this hotel and uh he gets two of his friends to help out with it for reasons that you don't really know but i'm assuming you'll find out because the season's probably laid out they've prepared it and stuff but we're just gotta wait for it to come out but yeah that's basically the main premise like I, <laughs> you gotta watch it because I'm not really gonna show any clips or anything here for obvious reasons, but I was just blown away because the voice acting was fantastic. Like I was really, really well done. The animation, like I said, is superb. Like I was generally like, I wouldn't be talking about this if the animation and like, if everything didn't align so perfectly, I wouldn't really be talking about it because like, Another reason why I wanted to though, like there's so many reasons why I did and didn't, but I think one of the reasons that not only was it really well done and really like just blown away because this wasn't funded by a studio. This was like made by people on YouTube, like uploaded for free. But it just, 
like the script is really well done too. It's really entertaining. It's hilarious. If you're sensitive and you don't like mature stuff and you know humor, adult humor and all that, this wouldn't really play well for you. This is this felt like an Adult Swim show or like a Rick and Morty or something. Like I don't really watch Rick and Morty, but I hear that stuff could get pretty whoa. So it felt like something like that, and I was just like, it was just really impressive. I thought the characters were really good. The there's like some characters I'm assuming won't be a part of the main main show. Like they're just there for this episode, you know, to give some you know expansion on this world and stuff. I mean, I thought they were great. Like the two reporters, oh my goodness! Like the animation is just so fast paced, and the, the dialogue and the script and all is really well paced, and just how they were able to animate a lot of this, I was just like blown away. Like each character has their distinct own personality. One's like short tempered, another's all well them it's ooh. one's optimistic and happy and one's psychotic and it's this really and one is an alcoholic like it's it, one's a neat freak there's just so many different characters that are not really similar and stuff but they all interact and stuff i mean it's mostly near the end because the full main main cast i'm assuming that'll be at the hotel and stuff is like all together by the end but you just you start out with three of them mostly and then you work your way to see more introduced by the end so like we need to see in our episode two with them interacting before I, before we can really figure out if this will work well but for a pilot episode this is great like it was really good and they have even have a little after credits thing at the end it's about over a little over 30 minutes i'd say so it's it's longer than an average per pilot episode but it's not like an hour long like arrow or you know one of the superhero shows so it's it's not that long to watch and it is free it's on youtube like definitely give it a watch on um vindy pops i think yeah that's right. her channel yeah i just i was just floored like there isn't really all that much to say that hasn't been said like the characters were really good the dialogue was really good and really mature um a lot of the humor was hilarious the animation was fantastic the world building for a first episode was good they have musical numbers too there's like a good three or four song sections first one's okay the second one was pretty good third one was pretty yeah i think there's three yeah there's three like they're all okay um so i thought it was pretty entertaining and like i just said wow that animation that that was the selling point for me here that really good like i was really blown away so with all that said those were my thoughts on the first pilot episode of hasman hotel Did anyone else watch it? And I know it's really weird. Like my channel, I don't really talk about stuff like like YouTube based and all. I've I've reviewed some stuff from YouTubers. Like one of my most popular videos was that short film from the Dragon Critic, the Team Warriors versus Team Zombies. But that was when I was just starting, and everyone like it was a nice thing because I knew a lot of them, so I talked about. It. But this, I don't really talk about stuff like this. And I thought, you know what? I would. I can get a video out. And I just, I just think more people should be looking at it, even though it's about to hit 10 million views in like, what, two weeks, three weeks? Still impressive, really well done. I'm so happy for everyone involved, and you could tell a lot of work and passion and all was poured in. So, great work, guys. If anyone there sees this, but nice, and everyone that watches me should probably check that out. It's pretty great. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to hit the subscribe button, that'll be pretty great. Hit the bell as well to get notified when I upload. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's SoarSable or at SableSoar. And if you want to leave a comment down below, have you seen it? Or if you're like, I'm still on the fence about it, like, let's get into the you know, discussion in the comment section. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching my video. And I will see you later because, as you know, Disney Plus launched. And I want to watch some of the stuff, like maybe the live action Lady and Tramp. I can get a review out for that, maybe. Noella. Um, the, the the Jeff Goldblum thing because it's Jeff Goldblum so we'll see what I can get out or not but yeah thank you all again for watching and I'll see you later bye